This is a Thunder Game Report. Hi, I'm Randy Renner at Chesapeake Energy Arena. The Thunder and the Memphis Grizzlies not far from tipping things off tonight. Both teams come in hot. The Thunder, despite that loss on Saturday against Washington, have won 10 out of their last 11. Memphis, they've won 11 of their last 12. And since Mark Gasol has come back into the lineup, they're 9-1. and one. Gasol, of course, made his return the last time these two teams played, which uh, ended in a Memphis victory. We had a chance to talk to both Thunder head coach Scott Brooks and Dave Yeager, the head coach of Memphis. One of the main questions tonight, especially for Yeager, as you will hear a little bit later, is whether Memphis will have the services of Tony Allen tonight. They already don't have Mike Connolly. So here are the answers to some of those questions. He jumped off uh, out of the gates pretty quickly. For, I think the second possession of the game, he went right to left, down the middle, left-hand layup, and that got him going, and he ended up 16 points in that first half for 24 for the game. We have to do a better job of stopping him. Uh, Tabo is going to definitely guard him tonight. Um, but he's, he seems like a guy that uh, has taken advantage of this opportunity. When he got traded, he's playing good basketball for them. He gives them another threat. Uh, and also Gasol coming back, they're obviously a much better team. Is he the new, you say he's the barometer of how their offense goes when he's hit, they seem to be broken? Well, I, I, think, I think that's probably pretty fair. You know, he's, uh, they don't take a lot of threes, uh, but he's the guy that can make threes and, and make, you know, multiple threes and, and then also make threes in back-to-back -back possessions. And, but I think he's, uh, along with their other good players, he's an added player to their team that, I think it's a, it was a great pickup for them. It seems like you've been able to use Perk and Serge almost interchangeably against Zach and Mark. What do you like about the two matchups that uh, those guys can give, give them? On well, I, I think um, it's definitely a, some of the biggest, it's probably the biggest challenge for any team in this league because those, big, those two bigs are combination four and fives in this league. You're not going to find... Um, combination like that. They're both all-star players, all-star level players, uh, and they can score different spots on the floor, and they're both pretty good passers, and they're great offensive rebounders. Uh, so, but Serge and Perk will, will definitely get opportunities to guard each one. You know, we, we're going to start the game off with Serge guarding Gasol and then Perk on uh, Zach. But it, it doesn't really matter to us. We have to obviously pick one to start the game. Both guys are going to get opportunities to guard both players. Not many teams are able to slow you down, but they have. Are they doing some of the same things under Jaeger that they did under Hollins? Yeah, I mean, they're, they're a good defensive team. They're, but a lot of their, their defense, they're a great offensive team, too. They, I mean, they execute. They use the shot clock. Uh, I'm not saying they take the air out of the basketball, but they, they, um, they make you play defense for 24 seconds. They find a good shot. Um, or they're always looking for a better shot, a better way to say it. Where, where with us, we, you know, we want to we want to push the ball and we want to take the first good shot. And but, but they are definitely a good defensive team. They got, you know, the the defensive player of the year last year, and he's back in the last whatever 12 games or 11 games or so, maybe 10. But I think um, with the way they play, uh, the way they're built, they have some defensive players. Mm, that that position's always been tough. You know, that that's a position that uh it it's a lot it's a, there's a lot of stress that involves in that position. There's so many decisions to be made. There's so many players that you have to please on the court. Uh and then you always have to think about, you know, this time and score, what the coach wants. Uh I don't I don't know if it's ever it's ever been easy. I mean, when I played 20 years ago, it was tough and 20 years from now it's going to be tough. Uh, and no matter how how much experience you have, you always face the same situations every year. Uh, but it's it's one of the toughest positions to um, pick up. Backups are good now, though, are they? Backups, are, you know what? Backups are a lot better back then, especially late '80s, early '90s. In fact, there's so many in the West that make it even harder. There's, I mean, there seems like there's every team has a good point guard. Uh, I mean, they have an, an all-star level point guard. You know, he's right there, and he's been improving every year for the last 
I don't know, six, seven years. Um, but every team, every team has one. Uh, next game is going to be a good one. Uh, and they're, it's just a, a position that, especially in the West, it seems like there's 15 very, very good point guards on every team. No, I mean he had he had a I mean obviously he had a great game last game he had 22 and I think five. Uh, he's not the same player, but he's effective in in their system. They he runs their team. Uh, he's a pretty heady heady point guard. He doesn't he doesn't seem to have um, doesn't seem to get bothered with pressure. <coughs> but I think he does it. I think he's done a good job the the game and a half that he's played in place of Conley. Obviously, uh, Conley is one of the best points in this league, so he, he has some big shoes to fill, but I think he's done a good job. Big, big, I think there was times there, especially in Memphis, where people didn't understand maybe how valuable, they thought he was pretty good, but he's extremely valuable to our team, it's just the way that our team is made, uh, what he does playmaking wise, uh, and certainly how valuable he is defensively, uh, it's just, it's very, very valuable for us. How much pressure does his presence take off of Zach. I noticed a significant difference in Zach's shooting percentage with Mark and without him. Well, they have a real, really cool chemistry, I think. I mean, you've been watching us a long time. You know, I mean, we just, they get along, they help each other, they play off of each other, they tell each other where to go. You know, I might call a play, uh, run a play, coming out of a timeout or whatnot, and, you know, they're talking to each other as they're walking out. Here's what they're going to do. This is how I'm going to get you. I'm going to get you right there or whatever. And it's it's really a cool deal to watch. And, you know, they've been together for, you know, 300-some games, I think, now. Or uh, Don't quote me on that. That's probably not accurate. But it's a bunch, and uh, and they enjoy playing with each other. So, What do you, what do you ask of Calathis with, with Conley? Huh? Trying to do the same things or? Yeah, you know, he doesn't really play like a like a traditional. Like if you, if you say, well, my backup point guard is, should be a guy just you know bring it up and get us in offense and you know don't make a mistake and uh, he's a little bit more uh, he plays a little bit more like a starter as a backup anyways uh, you know he'll throw some risky passes and but he he can make some plays that you know some backups can't make because he's got tremendous vision uh, and he, he can re he can really pass uh, plays in pick and roll very well uh, he's got a little confidence going in his jump shot right now so. Uh, just, just you know, you don't ever tell a guy, you know, don't go, don't go screw up the game. I mean, just go out there and play your game and, and be you. And, uh, you know, he, he's got such great support in our locker room. Uh, we've got tremendous chemistry, and uh, guys are really, you know, supporting him and trying to help him any way that they can. Will you have uh, Tony Allen? No. Mm -hmm. With all the great point guards in the Western Conference right now, can you talk a little bit about how tough it is to play that position maybe compared to recent years? Oh, it, I don't know if I would say it's the era of the point guard, but I don't know that there's been another time where you've seen like every single team. It's it's a it's a minimum standard requirement to have a very good point guard. Uh, I think especially in the West, but you know all across the league. Um, so it's uh, you know the, the, the guys have gone down now. You know there's a premium on getting guys that are free agents or third point guards that can step in and, and become backup point guards. And a lot, a lot of teams have had those injuries this year. So it, it shows you how valuable that they are. At least for two of them. Yeah, yeah, no question. Did, did you plan when you acquired Courtney to start him that quickly? Was that the idea or was that circumstance? No, I, I just like to see how things play out and how things fit together. And, uh, you know, he fell right into uh, – uh, just it's a nice fit for us because he, he's not just one end oriented. He, he plays both ends really well. You know, I would say that our guy is is James Johnson has been that guy for us. Um, you know, he he's he's really done a nice job with his career, and I mean, to say that in that in the last eight months, ten months of his life, he's probably has played for what three or four NBA teams. Uh, got cut from Atlanta this year, but uh, trimmed up his body. He's really leaned up his body, and, and it's given him the ability to go do some other things athletically. He's an incredible athlete. Uh, has been able to get to the basket, but, you know, for us, and maybe you guys don't see us play all the time, he'll, he'll go block a perimeter shot and then go get a dunk on the other end, or he'll get a tip dunk offensive rebound, uh, make a play defensively, or, or come back and help on a big and go get a steal. And, and some of those things that, you know, our fans have really fallen in love with him about, um, so, uh, he, you know, he's, he's a guy that, you know, we look to to just kind of be that guy. That's Dave Yeager, the uh, head coach of the Memphis Grizzlies, who, of course, took over for the fired Lionel Hollins, uh, saying that Tony Allen will not play tonight. They also don't have Mike Conley tonight. He was doing a lot of bragging, though, about James Johnson, who's been very effective coming off of the D-League. 
and Johnson had been cut by a couple of other NBA teams, so he's bounced around a little bit, but has really, really been playing well for the Memphis Grizzlies. Tip-off coming up in just a little bit, a little after 7 o'clock here at the Peak Thunder and Memphis. Click back here after the game. We'll have complete post-game coverage from the podium and also inside the locker room right here on ThunderGameReport.com.